working with checking solutions. This should be more of a review to you. Um, you've mostly done them with expressions, like plugging in numbers with expressions. Today we're going to be using both the x value and the y value from our equation and see if the ordered pair they gave us actually is um, a true ordered pair for that line. In other words, if we were to graph this line right here, we're trying to see would it pass through this point or would it pass to this point. So here's how you do it. First thing you're going to do is use a given equation and ordered pair to, and plug in the x value for x and the y value for y. Remembering that ordered pairs are listed x first and then y. So x, y, x, y. So I'm going to show you t t um, both ways. So we have y equals 1 fourth x minus 4. So I'm going to replace my x value with this and my y value with this. So instead of it saying y, I'm now going to say negative 5 equals 1 fourth times, and my x is negative 2 minus 4. So I've replaced. I've, all I've done is replaced the x, this x right there, with this x, and that y with this y. So then I'm going to um, solve the equation. And all you have to do is plug it in the calculator. So on this side, nothing changes. It's negative 5. On this side, when I put it in the calculator, a fourth times negative 2, or a fourth of negative 2, is going to give me, so that's going to cancel, 1 half. It'll be negative 1 half. And then we're going to subtract 4. And when I subtract 4 from that, um, I'm not going to get 5. What I'm actually going to end up getting, if you put it in your calculator, it's going to come out like this. In other words, it's going to say that negative 5 equals negative uh, 4.5. This is not true. What that means is if the equation comes out equal on both sides, then it is a solution. In other words, this line right here, if I were to graph this, it is never going to go through this point negative 2, 5. It will never go through the point negative 2, 5. Um, it gets close, but it doesn't go through it. So that's the first one. Our second one, we're going to, again, plug it back in, and we're going to see, does it actually go through this next one? So now I'm going to plug in, sorry, I want to do a different color. Let's do orange. And, or not. I don't know why it's not doing that. Let's do um, orange. Orange. And... I don't know why it's not changing. Whatever. Okay, cool. That's why, you know, hey, good times. I'm, you guys, you should be impressed. Oh, yay, it worked. Okay, so we're going to do orange for our x value. And let's do this lighter blue for our y value, just so that it looks different. So instead of y, I'm going to, oh, I almost looks screen. I'm going to replace y with negative 3. And it's going to equal 1 fourth times x. And my x in this case is 4. And then I'm going to subtract 4. That's going to leave me with negative 3 equals a fourth of 4 is 1 and 1 minus 4 is negative 3. This one is true. So if the equation comes out equal... If the equation comes out equal on both sides, then it is a solution. If the equation comes out different on both sides, the ordered pair is not a solution. So this one is, this one's not. Is, and then um, this one is because it was the same on both sides. This one is not because it's different. So all you're doing is plugging it in, seeing if it comes out. So on this one, again, this is my x, this is my y, this is my x, this is my y. And I am going to replace. So I'm going to do y equals 3 and x equals 6. In other words, this says 3 equals 1 half of 6. So yes. 
It is an ordered pair for this one. In other words, if we were to graph this line, it would definitely go through that. And then I would again replace three equals negative x, which is negative six plus three. And this says that three is equal to negative three. This is not true. So this one's a no, that one's a yes. All right, we're gonna do this one here and then you'll do these down here on your own. So this one here, um, actually let's do the, I'll do these ones with you and then you can do these sets on your own. We replace y with five, and do negative two times six plus two. That will give me 12, negative 12 and then add two, which will give me negative 10. That one is not a solution. This one, even though it's not written in the um, y equals mx plus b, we're still replacing. So you have negative two thirds times x, which is six, and then we're gonna add five to it. We need to see if it comes out as one. So I do two thirds, that will give me uh, three, two, negative four, and negative, so this side right here will be negative four plus five. And if I put that in, this one will be a solution. So again, just replace your X and Y and solve.